Hey everyone, I'm Rob from Leafs Pit in Mississauga. Uh, the Leafs acquired Ryan O'Brien for a fourth round pick in 2014. Uh, the Leafs don't really have to worry about this trade. They picked up two fourth round picks in Lombardi and Mike Brown trades. So they have fourth round picks. So they're stacked with the picks in 2014. Uh, so that's not a really a big loss for Toronto. Uh, Ryan O'Brien, to give you an indication, he's 6'5", 234 pounds from BC, uh, Vancouver. Uh, he plays a physical game. He's kind of like a Mike Commissaric, except uh, he plays more physical and drop the gloves. Um, I don't think he's going to be a top four guy that Dave Nonis was looking for. Dave Nonis was just trying to require Nika Kiprasov from Calgary. But at 2 o'clock, Kiprasov called Dave Nonis and said he's flattered. But at the end of the day, I have to make a family decision. And that's what happened here in Toronto. So that trade did not go through with the Kiprasov trade. Um, as for David Clarkson and the New Jersey Devils, I spoke to David on the telephone at 2.45. And he said I was going to come to Toronto. But then the Leafs got a little too greedy. I said, what do you mean, too greedy? The trade that was on the table was David Clarkson, Adam Larson. And the Leafs would have got a top four D-man in Adam Larson and a power forward in David Clarkson. The trade that they wanted from the Leafs was Matt Bratton, Stuart Percy, a second round pick in next year's draft in 2014, and a first round pick in this year's draft. Dave Nonis turned it down. I don't understand why. I mean, we're going to draft, what, 16th, 17th overall in the draft, possibly? Uh, it just doesn't make sense. We have a lot of kids. I know he doesn't want to give up the youth, but a second round pick, a first rounder, and... Matt Brad, who's 25 years old, is going to be a 20-goal scorer. And Stuart Percy, who has done nothing. I mean, he's a junior player. He's a good two-way defenseman. He's a captain of his uh, junior squad. He's a good player. But Adam Larson was a top-five draft pick recently. He's only 20 years old. He's six foot four, 219 pound, big defenseman from Sweden. David Clarkson is a the number one power forward in my eyes in the National Hockey League. And he's a 30 goal scorer and he could drop the glove. I think it would have been a fair trade for Toronto. But Dave Nonis apparently wanted Adam Larson, Adam Henrik, and David Clarkson. Now, I knew he wasn't going to get that deal done. Adam Henrik is a good player. But apparently Toronto even said to them, listen, take out the first rounder and we'll take out Larson. You give us Henrik and Clarkson. Now, if that was the deal that was going to come through, I would have said, take the deal. That was a good trade. But, it didn't go through. Uh, David Clarkson is happy where he's at. He wants to be in New Jersey. He wants to re-sign with New Jersey. Uh, he's looking for about $4.5 to, to uh, $5 million uh, in salary. He's looking for a nice five-year contract. Uh, I think he'll get that in Toronto. Come July 1st, maybe he'll get about $4.25 million. Uh, I joked with him. I said, well, what happens if Toronto tells you you're too expensive? He said, uh, I'll lower the price for sure. I said, well, what? how low would you go? He said, 3.5. I said, how about 3? He said, I'm making that now. Are you crazy? <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's all about making the right decision. And... Um, Dave Nonis made the right decision. He did not uh, give up prospects and future. So I think that the Leafs need to make a statement in the summertime. Come draft day, I hope Dave Nonis, if you're listening, go out and get David Clarkson as a free agent. Uh, make him your number one priority as a free agent. But if you really, really want to make a statement in Toronto, I really suggest that you make a statement on draft day and try to get a draft pick in the top 10.
Uh, anyways, I'm Rob from Mississauga, Lee's Pit, signing off.